Hi folks, Merry Christmas. Uh, today I've been uh, sitting here doing a little bit of loading for Colt Python. Uh, got some new copper plated wad cutters that I've been uh, fixing up. I had the revolver out to just check and make sure everything was sizing the cylinder right. And just paying attention to these burn rings here. I said, you know, it's Christmas day. I've got a little bit of time on my hands. Let's see if we can get some of these burn rings off. Just pretty it up. And the way I do that is I've taken the cylinder out of the revolver. Uh, I've got videos on how to do that, videos on how to fit the screwdriver. If you haven't seen those, take a look. What I do for getting these burn rings off is just a uh, Birchwood KC lead removing and polishing cloth. I cut them off into little squares like this, I don't know, inch and a half by inch and a half, just because I find it saves some of the cloth and works better. So let's take a look here. You can see those scorch rings all around there. They're not real bad, but they're a little bit unsightly, especially for such a nice, pretty stainless gun like this. So let's see what we can do. I'm just rubbing on it. You can see how much is coming off already. And you don't want to do this on blued finishes most of the time. It can remove bluing, uh, but on a nice polished stainless revolver like this, it really does a great job. Doesn't take too much effort. And you get one spot kind of covered in crud, just move over to a different one. And when you're doing this, most of it, I mean, it's just cosmetic, really. These burn rings are kind of self-limiting. Got a lot of gas blowing out around that cylinder gap, and it's not going to let it build up too severely. But when you've got a nice revolver, nice stainless gun, sometimes you like it to look pretty, you know? And I don't do this every time I shoot them. I actually really don't do it very often at all. I usually don't uh, don't care too much about the the burn rings on the cylinder face, but every so often it's it's kind of nice just to get everything looking like it's new again. And I'll probably cut the video a little bit short because I don't want to waste your entire day on this. But just give you an idea of really how easy it is with the, the right tool. Pretty brilliant shine. The hardest part's there in the center, but the nice thing is, is when everything's assembled, it's kind of the hardest bit to see. So if you don't get it totally perfect, it doesn't really matter because really the burn rings don't matter anyway. I'm not shaking the camera too much. I might be. Okay, look at that. Still a little bit in here. Not too bad. I 
And I'm sure this is kind of boring watching me do this, but I really don't like doing cut video because I like to give you an idea of kind of the time invested in some of this. You know, if it's something really long and tedious, then sure, yeah, I'll cut the video, but for this deal, I'm guessing this video won't run more than 10 minutes. Maybe it will, but I'm not really hurrying either. I'm kind of trying to do a good job so that you guys get a good idea of what the expected outcome is going to be if you decide to take this task on. The center bit there's the, the tricky one. I could probably do this if I had some sort of plastic non-marring instrument. I'd probably get in there and wrap this around it. I wonder what I can do. I bet you I could take, I bet you could take this 22 jag. I just have sitting here. That won't damage anything. That actually feels pretty good. That's just a brass 22 jag that, little loop jag that happened to be sitting here. wipe down again. Knocking stuff off. There you go. There's still a little bit right there. A little bit there. And I could spend another, uh, you know, probably five minutes on this and get it all done perfect, but you know, I'm going to be testing those new loads I'm working up in probably a day or two here. So it's just going to get dirty again. But for today, it looks pretty nice. So thanks for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.